Downloading and installing Slicer on your computer. So Slicer is a free open source 3D printing slicing application. In this program, it will create a file that 3D printers can use. And there are many kinds of slicing applications out there for 3D printing. Uh, this just happens to be the one that's recommended by the Flex Mendel 3D printer. So this application will thinly slice horizontal layers and it will send that instructions to a G code file. So a G code file is the is the information that the 3D printers need to know how to move and run the equipment of the 3D printer. And you may have the software already installed in your computer lab, uh, but this is a way you can download it for free on your home PC or laptop. So first we're going to go out to a uh, out to the internet, so I'm going to use Google Chrome, and I'm going to go to the Slicer download page. And uh, so, <clears throat> once I get internet here, I mean, right, uh, it's not always the fastest internet on campus. Here we go. All right. So I am going to go to www. Slicer. And that's with a three and an R dot org. And if I want to go straight to the downloads, I can just do a slash and go download and hit enter. And that's going to bring me right into the slicer page. I can I went right past the home page. And now I'm on step two, select your operating system. So for me, I have Windows. So it has three different operating systems to support. So I'm going to go to Windows. Step three is I'm going to select which memory addresses we you have. So for the most newer computers, uh, say uh, in the early 2000s or newer, it's 64-bit. And so I'm going to click on this. It's going to build a file, download file, down in the lower left-hand corner. And you need to wait till it's done. And... Uh, so it's created a zip file. A zip file is a compressed file. Now, I can go and click on this up arrow. When I click on this up arrow, I'm going to say show in folder. So now it shows me that file up in my uh, downloads folder. And so I'm going to right click on this file. And I'm going to say copy. And then with staying in my Windows Explorer, I'm going to navigate out to this PC. Okay. Then I'm going to go to Windows C. Then I'm going to go to Program Files, just plain Program Files. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to say New. I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to call this folder Slicer. And I'm going to hit enter. All right. And so I have just created a folder. Now I need to double click on slicer. And now I'm inside that folder. And now I'm going to right click and hit paste. And it says, hey, you need administrative permission. I'm going to say continue. And it created, the, it placed that zip file in that folder. Now I'm going to go to step five and I'm going to extract this zip file. So I'm going to right click on this file. And then I'm going to come down and say extract all. All right. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to pick uh, so, uh, extract all. And at this point, I need to tell what folder to put it in. So it's putting it in under the slicer folder, and it's put it in under the version. And this version is fine. I'm actually just going to take that one off the back there, and I'm going to say extract. And oop. Uh, 
yeah, I didn't like that path because that path didn't exist. So I, if I go to browse, maybe I should just go to browse. And I browse, I have to go to a path that exists, sorry. And so I'm going to go to that, again, Windows C, Program Files, the Slicer. Okay, I have to pick a path that exists. I'll say select the folder, and then I'm going to extract. And I'm going to continue with the administrative permission. And it's going to extract this file. Now, a couple of things while it's extracting. Uh, this program is a free program, and the you want to choose um, the most you know current file. Uh, and I'll say continue. Uh, and I'm going to say do this for all items and continue. And so uh, this file is a sandbox file. It doesn't really install on your computer, it just installs in a folder. And you can run that file, which is going to end up with an exe file, a slicer exe file. You just have to double click on that full, uh, file and it will run. Or you can right click and say open and it will run. So it is a standalone software. It can basically sit and run on any folder, or even a flash drive. It doesn't have to install on your computer per se. So it's extracting, which means it's decompressing uh, the file. And then we're about to be done. And our next step is step six, which is we are going to create a shortcut, a desktop shortcut. Okay. So if I look here, I'm under slicer and I'm ready to go. All I have to do is double click on this slicer file and it will run. It's under my Windows C program file slicer. I double click and it will run. But just for convenience, I'm going to get rid of my, I'm going to put a, icon out there, desktop icon just for my convenience. I'm going to select on slicer, right? Just pick it. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say, um, let me see here. I, I can either say open at this point if I want or double click it or create shortcut. Blind as a bat looking right at it. Um, so hang on, let me see. Oh, let me do it this way. I'm going to right click and drag it to my desktop and say, create a shortcut. All right. And so I'm going to close this and now I have a shortcut and I'm going to go over and double click on it and it will launch that program. And And now I'm in Slicer, and it's ready to go. I'm in the simple mode. I have to put in my conf configuration file, but I'm ready to go running Slicer.